Hey guys, Cam with TDK Repair here, and today I'm going to give you a long-term review of the Pittsburgh Automotive Portable Wheel Balancer. Let's get started. So I like to keep it in its box. It's not a good box by any means, but it lets me store it taken apart without actually having to keep track of where everything is. So this is the base. It's pretty corroded, but the garage got flooded with this in it. And I've really had this for about three or four years now. Done countless amounts of tires on it, from ATV side-by-side -side tires to automotive. Um, I tried to do my truck, but the hub on this is a little too small. So I guess that's one con of it is you cannot do full-size truck tires just because the center bore is bigger than this allows. But let me show you how it looks like when it's all put together. So when it's all put together, it looks like this. You got this balancing on the rod. I know the light isn't the best, but there's a little pointy tip and a pointy receptacle that this sits on. Make sure it's centered and the rod just is threaded and has a nut on the other side to clamp it to the base. The first pro is how accurate you can actually balance the tire. If you are properly inserted inside the balancing pin inside of this hub and you center the bubble and you make sure your wheel goes all the way down this cone, you're actually going to get fairly good results. I've actually been able to take tires that the tire shop wasn't able to balance correctly just because they're lazy or their machine's out of calibration and actually get them to take and actually take all the vibration out with this. The only negative so really is you really have to take your time setting it up and making sure that it's all put together right because if if you're in here and you're not perfectly on that little point if that's not inserted well right there into that dimple you basically aren't doing anything or if your bubble isn't all the way precise because you just take these three screws and with that you're going to adjust this level so make sure you leave this in the spot where you started that way you're not changing the level so overall i think it's definitely worth the money it's pretty cheap i don't remember how much i got it for i think it was around 40 50 bucks maybe i had a discount but even at the full price if you're going to be doing your own tires fairly regularly it's definitely worth doing no real cons other than it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to put away just because you really have to take this apart unless you have a lot of spare room but like i said i just keep it in the box keep the nuts on the shaft and it's pretty easy to keep everything straight. All right, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.